That folks is Ron with the ideal. In this video, I'm going to show you one way to make a box offset bend and a half inch piece of EMT conduit here using a hand conduit bender from ideal. Now, a box offset bend is needed anytime an electrician needs to feed an electrical box with a piece of conduit like this one over here. Okay? And the deal is the knockout on the side of the box is not flush with the back of the box. Hence, uh, the conduit must be bent in a, a slight shape like that so it can be inserted into the conduit fitting on the side of the box. Now, this allows the conduit to be mounted flush up against the wall or the concrete and without putting any undue stress on the conduit fitting or on the box itself. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to use our catalog number 74-026 duct the iron uh, conduit bender here from Ideal. Now, duct the iron benders are typically preferred by professionals as they will last you longer than aluminum head benders here, which are lighter in weight, but they're also not quite as durable as the duct the iron type benders. Now, generally a 10 degree offset bend is used to create this box offset. And it's actually two 10 degree bends you're gonna put in the conduit. And many contractors in the field have done this enough that they're just gonna make a couple marks on that conduit and they're gonna have that offset bent before you even know it, okay? But if you remember my video on offset bends, a certain shrink amount and a certain multiplier is used to create all of the different offsets that you're working with, okay? Now, on a 10 degree offset bend, the shrink amount is only about a 16th of an inch for every inch of obstruction you're gonna go over, and the multiplier is six, which is gonna be used to calculate the distance between the two bends or the two marks I'm gonna make on my conduit. Now, on a typical electrical outlet box, the knockout's about three eighths of an inch away from the back of the box. Now, that becomes the height of the obstruction that we're gonna need to overcome, okay? So six times three eighths of an inch is two and a quarter inches, and that becomes the distance between the two bends or the two marks I'm gonna make on this piece of conduit. And in this case, the shrink amount is so small, it's not even a factor we weren't gonna worry about, it, okay? Now, to make the box offset on the end of a piece of conduit, I'm actually gonna make two marks on the end of the conduit. And step one is to make the first mark about two and a half inches, two, two and a half inches away from the end of the conduit. If I make the mark, you know, right close at the end of the conduit, uh, the hook on the bender may actually deform the round shape of the conduit, and then the conduit not, is not going to fit inside the box or the, or the fitting that's on the side of the box, okay? So contractors generally use a pencil to make that mark on the conduit so it can be erased later down the road. In my example, I'm going to use a permanent marker, and I'm going to mark the conduit all the way around the conduit, and that way the mark on the conduit will not get lost in the bender head when I'm doing my bending here in another minute or so, okay? Now, for the 3 8 inch offset, we calculated the distance between the two bends to be two and a quarter inches. So I'm going to make a second mark on my conduit at two and a quarter inches away from that first mark on the conduit, okay? And again, I'm going to mark the conduit all the way around, all right? Now, offset bends are done in the air, not on the ground. So very simply, you're going to take your conduit bender, you're going to point the handle down like that uh, with the head kind of closer to you here. And then step two is to insert that conduit into the bender head and you're going to line up that first mark with the arrow on the side of the bender okay then bend your knees slightly like that kind of lower your center of gravity place one foot up against the bender boot down there so it doesn't slide on you when you make the bend and tilt the bender a little bit away from me and then using constant pressure i'm going to bend that first bend to 10 degrees now when do you know you're at 10 degrees well again the bottom of the conduit will be even with that 10 degree mark on the side of the bender head okay now, step three is to slide the conduit down to the second mark, okay, and again, line up the second mark with the arrow on the side of the bender head. And then you're going to rotate the conduit 180 degrees, okay, and uh, you're going to uh, line up the two bends using the handle on the bender here to line up the two different bends, and then using constant pressure again, I'm going to bend that to, again, 10 degrees. Okay, very good. Now, this creates the box offset in that conduit that allows that to uh, easily slide into the conduit fitting on the side of the box. And knowing how to make a box offset bend quickly and efficiently will make those jobs run that much smoother and add value to what you can actually do on those job sites. And again, electricians don't bend the conduit and then cut it to the correct length. Once they know how to use a bender correctly, the conduit is the correct length for the, and fit, by the way, for that particular job. Okay? And using good quality hand conduit benders like this one from Ideal, will provide accurate and professional looking bins that electricians kind of expect when they're out there on those job sites. And if you want to learn more about the line of hand conduit benders from Ideal, please visit our website or contact our customer service department to find a local distributor nearby you. Hey, thanks for watching folks.
I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.